In this lesson, we're going to look at representing linear inequalities in two variables. Uh, an inequality is represented by the signs greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. Uh, an inequality in two variables, what it does is it describes a solution region. There will be a number of solutions to these inequalities, so it describes a solution region on the coordinate plane. So the solution will be on an xy coordinate plane, and all of the coordinates in the solution region satisfy the inequality. Uh, so we're going to look at how to uh, solve a couple of these, and we'll look at the steps and, and some other parts about linear inequalities in two variables. Uh, it says, first of all, represent the solution region of each inequality. Which first inequality says, represent the solution region of where 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 6. So as an example of a point or a coordinate that would be a solution to this problem, uh, 2, 2 would be because 2 times 2 plus 3 times 2 is greater than or equal to 6 because that would be 10 is greater than or equal to 6. Uh, another possible solution that would be, I mean, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, maybe the point... Um, negative 1 and 3, for example. That would be 2 times negative 1 plus 3 times 3 greater than or equal to 6. This would give you 7 greater than or equal to 6, which would be also be a solution. If you want to know a solution that... Uh, so those are solutions. If you want to know a solution that wouldn't work, for example, uh, the point 0, 0, for example, would not be a solution to this problem because 2 times 0 uh, plus 3 times 0 is not greater than or equal to 6, or 0 is not greater than or equal to 6. So how do we represent all of the possible solutions? The way that we do that is, first of all, to represent the boundary line. The boundary line is the boundary between where 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 6 and where it's not. So in other words, the line uh, 2x plus 3y. So the boundary is the line 2x plus 3y equals 6. And in this case, it's going to be a solid line because it's an or equal to sign here. The boundary uh, is allowed to be or equal to uh, where those two expressions are greater than or less than each other. So uh, generally to do to graph lines, what we do is put into slope intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b, or in other words, isolate y. So here we have 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 6. And after I divide by 3, uh, what I get is y is equal to negative 2 thirds plus 2. So it has a y-intercept of 2 and a slope of negative 2 thirds. So down 2 and over 3. It's a slope that goes down and to the right. So this particular line looks something like this, and it's going to be a solid line because the boundary is included. Uh, now, we already know that the solution region that's going to work is going to be this one here, because I've already shown you that the point 2, 2, for example, which is right here, is a solution. And the point negative 1 and 3, which is right here, is also a solution. And we also know that 0, 0 is not a solution. So in order to represent which side of that boundary line is a solution, all we do really is to take a test point on one side of the boundary, in this case maybe 0, 0, and see if it works. If it does not work, then we shade the opposite side. So the solution region here that represents all the possible solutions to this inequality are including the boundary line and everything above it. Okay, so any point that you choose from the shaded region here would be a solution to the inequality. Okay, uh, let's look at one more. The next one says, show me the solution where 10x minus 5y is less than 0. Uh, in this particular case, I could tell you right now that an example of a point that would be, be a solution would be maybe negative 1 and 1, for example, because that would give us that 10 times negative 1 minus 5 times 1 is less than 0. That would be a solution because negative 10 minus 5 is less than 0 <clears throat> because negative 15 is less than 0. So the point negative 1, 1 will be a solution, but let's set up this to get all of the possible solutions. So the boundary in this particular case would be the line 10x minus 5y is equal to 0. In this case, because the boundary is not included in the solution, it is going to be a dotted boundary line. So let's put this into slope-intercept form. Subtract 10x. We would have negative 5y equals negative 10x. Divide by negative 5. And in this particular case, we have the boundary line y is equal to 2x. Uh, if you'd like to force a y-intercept into there, it's 0. So your boundary line is this line right here. <coughs> Thank you.
and it's going to be dotted. Uh, we already know that the point negative 1, 1, which is right here, is a solution. So we could actually just shade that side. Or you could take a different point if you'd like to and test it. So let's say we wanted to test the point. You could choose any point that you want to. If we wanted to test the point 2, 0, you must test it in the original inequality. You would find that uh, 10 times 2 minus 5 times 0 is not less than 0 because you'd have 20 less than 0, and that's false. So you'd shade the opposite side, or in other words, this side here represents all of the possible solutions to this inequality. You could take any point from this shaded region here, and it would be a solution to the inequality. All right, so really quickly, we're going to look at the steps, and then just one other thing having to do with inequalities, and that will be it. So <clears throat> as far as what did we do? To represent the solution of an inequality, what you can do is graph the boundary line. from slope-intercept form, so y equals mx plus b, uh, taking two things into consideration. If the inequality sign is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, the boundary is included and will be a solid boundary line, whereas if it's greater than or less than, the boundary is not included and will be a dotted boundary line. Uh, secondly, what we do is find out which side of that boundary to shade, so shade the half plane that represents the solution region. <clears throat> so what we do is choose a test point that's on one side of the boundary. It doesn't matter what you choose. What I suggest is 0, 0 generally is going to simplify your calculation, so it's a good test point to choose. Uh, then what we do is substitute the coordinates of that test point into the, and it must be into the original inequality. If the test point is a solution, then you are going to shade the half, pl half plane containing this point. And otherwise, if it's not a solution, you're going to shade the opposite half plane. Okay, uh, just a little extension upon those ideas. If we look at this next question, what it says is, which ordered pairs are solutions to the inequality 10x minus 5y is less than 0? There's two ways you could do it. This is the exact same inequality that we did up here. So what you could do is graph the inequality and see if those points are in the solution region or aren't. Or, you don't even have to graph the solution region, you could treat each of these points as a test point in and of itself. So if we just substitute each of these points into the original inequality, we could either say yes or no. So a pretty straightforward topic, but I'll just show you here kind of what I mean by that. This guy here would give me a, a solution of 5 less than 0, so your answer here would be no, because... 5 is not less than 0. This next guy, 10 times negative 1 minus 5 times negative 1 less than 0. And this will give you a solution of negative 5 less than 0. The answer to that question would be yes, absolutely. Uh, the next one would be 10 times 3. So we're just substituting this into the original equality, tr treating them all like test points. This would give you that 0 is less than 0. 0 is not less than 0. If it said or equal to, um, then it would be a yes. And that's why you're seeing here, 0, 0 is actually right on the boundary line. And since the boundary is not included, uh, that point is not a solution to the inequality. And finally, the last one here would be uh, 10 times 6 minus 5 times 3 less than 0. And that gives you 45 less than 0, which your answer here would be no.